So billboards are pretty cool. They're bright, colorful, and shove advertisement right in your face. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a LED billboard. And yeah, you could just slap an emissive image on a plane and call it a day, but let's be honest, that's kind of boring. So instead of doing that, I'm going to show you how to make this billboard have distinct pixels and panels that you can adjust to your needs. And this does work with Cycles and EV, so you don't have to worry about what render engine you use. First thing that we need is an image to turn into a billboard. So using the Images as Planes add-on, you just need to find the picture you want to turn into a billboard. And I made this advertisement yesterday just to use this, this example for the tutorial. So pick your image and change it to Emit over here. You don't need Alpha because it's just going to mess stuff up. So uncheck alpha and then import your image and then turn on the rendered view and you can see that now you have your emissive image. Now you want to go over to the shading tab and first thing you want to do is just increase the emission wherever you need it. I'm just going to go to two because I don't want everything to be extremely blown out. Now we're going to start on making the pixels and it's kind of a it's kind of weird, I don't even know why it works the way it does to be honest, but it works nonetheless. But what you need is a Voronoi texture. And you just need to put the distance into the alpha. And it's of course not going to do anything just yet, because you've got to do a few things first. Now in between the Voronoi and the Principled, you need a math node. And change it from add to less than. And we can already see that we have circles everywhere. And to make them more uniform, instead of being just randomly all over the place, on the Voronoi texture, you can turn the randomness all the way down. And then over here, the threshold will control how big the circles are gonna be. And then of course, the scale is going to be how many there are. Now we have the pixels, but there's a problem, and that's that they're ovals instead of circles. And to fix that, you need a texture coordinate and a mapping node and you just want to use the generated coordinates and then put that in the vector of the Voronoi and you can just scale things accordingly to how you need it and now it's circular if you're really into like getting like extremely realistic like true to life detail then this scale on the Voronoi you could think of it as the pixel resolution of the screen so doing like 1080 is going to be 1080 pixels and then you're going to have to like adjust the threshold like that's that's a lot and it kind of takes away some of the point of even doing this because you could just have an emissive plane there and you wouldn't really see it any difference from a distance so i would suggest keeping the scale kind of low just in kind of like the 100s 200s so now we need to do the panels and to do that we just want a brick texture and we want to put this in the alpha as well, but we of course can't put them in the same place. We need another math node, so just duplicate the less than and change it to multiply. And then put the brick texture in the bottom. Change color 2 to bright white and put color 1 at the brightest white. Now we don't want our panels to actually be laid out like bricks, so turn the offset all the way down. Now you want the brick width and height to be the same, so just change the height to 0.5 to match the width. And also you can see they're still rectangular, that's because we don't have it in the mapping node, so put the mapping node in the brick texture as well. And now they're squares. So you of course can change the scale to change how many panels you have, but maybe you don't want these huge gaps in between, so to fix that you can change the mortar size. I would suggest going like really small. Now that's pretty much all for the screen. You have your pixels, your panels. Now all that this is missing is like a frame for the screen. So of course just get a cube and move it how you need it. Extrude that in. And make it gray. And yeah, there. Now you have yourself a fully functioning billboard. 